My first step is to always use an eye primer or base. Today I'm using MAC's Lang Low Paint Pot. After that I'm going in with a gray toned brown from the Reveal 2 palette and applying this with a fluffy blending brush as my transition color. Using the same brush, I'm taking a deep burgundy berry shade from the palette and sweeping this into the crease overlapping my transition color. This color is really going to warm up the look. Next, I'm taking a more precise shader brush and that beautiful blackened sparkly purpley red from the palette and I'm depositing most of the color into the outer V for some depth and then softly blending the color inwards in short circular motions. And I'm using whatever's left on the brush from the previous color to blend any harsh edges. I'm going in with MAC's Bamboo Eyeshadow to softly highlight the brow bone and further blend any edges. Then with Coastal Sense's Cloud White Eyeshadow, I'm very lightly applying this to the arch of my brow for a more defined highlight. Taking a flat shader brush, I'm using this soft goldeny peach shade from the Revealed 2 palette and I'm packing this color onto my lids and then softly blending the edges. I've been loving the no liner look lately so to complete this eye look, I'm just applying some falsies, a little bit of Benefits eyebrow to my waterline and a few coats of mascara to my bottom lashes. To save time, my foundation, concealer, highlight, bronzer are already applied. Now moving on to the lips, I'm using MAC Lip Liner and Chestnut to softly define and shape my lips. Then I'm applying Wet n Wild's lipstick in Pink Sugar. This is a soft peachy color that is the perfect nude for my skin tone and applying the lip liner before the lipstick really helps to create a more fuller lush lip. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial. Don't forget to check out my blog for more pictures. And as always, thanks for watching and subscribing if you have. Until my next video, I will talk to you later.